Dr. Mamarian, I saw one of your patients in follow-up and I'd like to discuss it with you. Great. Uh, he's a 47-year-old gentleman with a 10-year history of coronary artery disease. Initially, it was um, a large septal branch off the left anterior uh, descending that had medical management. And then subsequently, at a later time, he underwent PCI of the left circumflex. Okay. Um, currently, he, his lipids are at goal. His total cholesterol is 112. His LDL is 54 on statin therapy. So he has very good control of his lipids. How is he doing today? He's currently asymptomatic without chest pain or shortness of breath. No complaints. And what kind of physical activity is he doing? He continues to do about one hour of exercise a day and tolerates it well without chest pain or shortness of breath. So does good physical activity on a daily basis and has no symptoms? Yeah. And his physical exam today is unchanged also. His cardiovascular exam is normal. And his EKG shows normal sinus rhythm without any um, changes from his previous EKG. And when was his last myocardial perfusion scan done? His last scan was done in 2010, approximately two years ago. And at that time, he exercised for 30, 13 minutes with no chest discomfort or um, significant ST changes. His spec study showed a small ischemic area consistent with the large septal branch that we had previously known about. Okay. And his EF was normal at 68% on that scan. Great. And so at this juncture, what would you like to do with him? I was thinking maybe because of his coronary artery disease, we can get another nuclear scan and make sure there's no progression of disease. Okay, well, that's a, that's a thought, but if he were symptomatic, that might be reasonable. But he's entirely asymptomatic. He has good exercise tolerance. And his previous study showed only a very minor abnormality in, a, in an explained area where we had disease in a, very, in a septal perforator branch. So at this juncture, there's really no indication to do an, another myocardial perfusion in, uh, scan. And in fact, if you look at the appropriate use criteria, it even states that if someone's asymptomatic and may even have known disease, if they've had a previously relatively normal myocardial perfusion scan within the last two years, it's not indicated to do another study unless the patient has new symptoms or if the patient had previous bypass surgery, for instance, or other revascularization procedures, then maybe every five years. Okay.